Welcome to Study with Smith Test Guide. This is a free dumb series of questions for CCNA. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with the series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this free dumb question series of videos. Thanks for your help. These questions are carefully prepared after obtaining a paid subscription, but I am sharing them with you for free. They have been immensely helpful in my successful CCNA attempt. In this video we'll take a look at CCNA exam version 1.0, CCNA 200-301, to topics related questions. So, today's topic is 1.1e, controllers, Cisco DNA Center and WLC. Let's go to question 1. Which protocol is commonly used between a wireless LAN controller, WLC, and lightweight access points for communication? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D. CAPWAP. The protocol commonly used between a wireless LAN controller, WLC, and lightweight access points for communication is CAPWAP, Control and Provisioning of Wireless Access Points. CAPWAP is a standard protocol that enables the WLC to manage and control the configuration of access points in a wireless network. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 2. Which technology enables access points to dynamically adjust their transmit power and channel settings to optimize wireless coverage? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is D. RRM. RRM, Radio Resource Management. RRM enables access points to dynamically adjust their transmit power and channel settings to optimize wireless coverage and minimize interference. It's a crucial technology for maintaining a stable and efficient wireless network. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 3. What does WLC stand for in the context of networking? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B. Wireless LAN Controller. WLC stands for Wireless LAN Controller. It is a device that manages and controls access points in a wireless network, helping to centralize the management and configuration of wireless access points. Let's continue to the next question. Let's okay, let's go to question 4. Which component of Cisco DNA Center is responsible for collecting and analyzing network data to provide insights and recommendations? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is A. Assurance. In Cisco DNA Center, the assurance component is responsible for collecting and analyzing network data to provide insights, recommendations, and real-time monitoring of network performance. It helps in identifying and addressing potential issues to ensure the network operates smoothly. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 5. What is the purpose of a mobility group in a wireless LAN controller, WLC, setup? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is Manage user mobility within a wireless network. The purpose of a mobility group in a wireless LAN controller, WLC, setup is to manage user mobility within a wireless network. A mobility group consists of multiple WLCs that work together to provide seamless roaming for wireless clients as they move between different areas of the network. This helps ensure a consistent and uninterrupted user experience. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 6. What is the primary goal of implementing a wireless LAN controller, WLC, in a wireless network? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Centralized management and control of access points. The primary goal of implementing a wireless LAN controller, WLC, in a wireless network is to achieve centralized management and control of access points. A WLC allows you to configure, monitor, and manage multiple access points from a single location, which streamlines network management and ensures consistent configurations. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 7. In Cisco DNA Center, which component is responsible for automating the deployment and configuration of network devices? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B. Automation. In Cisco DNA Center, the automation component is responsible for automating the deployment and configuration of network devices. It helps streamline the network provisioning process and reduces the need for manual configuration, thus saving time and minimizing potential errors. Let's proceed to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 8. 
Which of the following is a key advantage of using a wireless LAN controller, WLC, in a wireless network? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C, centralized management of access points. One of the key advantages of using a wireless LAN controller, WLC, in a wireless network is the centralized management of access points. A WLC allows you to configure and manage multiple access points from a single interface, making it easier to control the network and apply consistent configurations. Let's move on to the next question. Okay, let's go to question 9. In Cisco DNA Center, what is the main purpose of the design phase? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is C. Planning and designing the network architecture. In Cisco DNA Center, the main purpose of the design phase is planning and designing the network architecture. This phase involves creating the blueprint for how the network will be structured, including the placement of network devices, access points, and other elements. It's an essential step to ensure proper network functionality and scalability. Let's move on to the final question. Okay, let's go to question 10. What is the primary function of Cisco DNA Center in a network environment? Pause the video now to select the best answer. Okay, the answer is B. Managing and orchestrating network devices. Cisco DNA Center is a centralized management platform that is used for managing and orchestrating network devices in a network environment. It provides tools for automation, monitoring, and policy-based management of network infrastructure. So, here comes supplementary materials. The questions here are found in the email. Please comment with your email address in the comment section, and I will forward them to you. Please don't forget to subscribe and support my efforts. We will cover next topic from CCNA exam guide in the next video. Stay tuned.